Okay, uh, I'm back for part three, where I'm going to review the girl walk, and then uh, part four will be transformation from girl walk to battle roid. So, so let me get the girl walk off the stand. Um, not much to review here, so I'll probably do a shorter video. I'm going to get the hands out first. I mean, gun out of the hand. Okay, so uh, let's see. Obviously, we're over colors. Um, in terms of articulation, only the new thing, the only new art uh, part of the articulation would be some of the legs and uh, the arms. So I might as well do the arms right now. So the shoulders um, are on a separate joint from the arms themselves, so they can just go side to side a little. I don't know why they do that. The arm is on a ball joint, so it can rotate. Uh, probably 360 if you just get it out of the way of the wing. Like so. And then, uh, you can wiggle a little bit. Uh, the elbow has, I think, two joints. And then you can just bend this. And bend the second joint for this much of a bend. It's a little bit more than 90 degrees. And his hand can fall off. Which is one of my first complaints. These hands are just a bit, t a little bit too loose because of the lack of poly caps. They really like to fall off, so I don't know what's going on there. Anyways, uh, I guess this is articulation too. This uh, radar arm thing can flip out and just swing on a peg. That's about it. And then the legs. They can't really do anything in Gerwalk, but they can still do something. They can um, bend forwards and back. And then the feet are on some hinges. They can't rotate very much at all. They can just go forward and back. And then the feet close for jet mode. Or fighter mode, according to the manual. Uh, let's see. This should be about it, actually. And something um, I'm going to mention later is that he does have stickers, but the stickers don't show up until he's in uh, battle roid mode. So yeah, it's not gonna show up for a while. Anyways, um, his shield actually has something for in terms of accessories. So here's a shield. Um, you can hear that little rattling noise. So what you do is um, there's this little section right here that you lift up, and then you get a little knife. Just pull that knife out. It's really nice. Has that little little serrated edges, I think, right there. Focus. Anyways, um, it's pretty nice, but in, apparently in the series it has energy around it, so it cuts it through enemies better, so just being a knife. And, he, uh, I mean, the Battleroid slash Gerwalk mode, Valkyrie, whatever, can hold it, and just put it in the hand, and it just kind of sits there. And then, let's let me put this back in the shield, and I can show you, uh, how you can attach it. There's this piece right here, and this splits, and then there's these gaps right here, or pegs, I don't know what to call them. You just attach it, and then there's a peg, and a hole in the arm, which just pegs in. And that's it. Not the best shield, but whatever, you know. It's a jet, what are you going to do? So, let's see. That was it for the girl walk, actually. Um... Alright, so that's end of part three. Part four will be the transformation, and look forward to that then.